In December 2017, State Minister for Health, Dr. Joyce Moriku Kadutu, was rushed to hospital following what was later discovered to be food poisoning. She was then admitted to Aga Khan Hospital in Kenya for a specialized treatment. During the chit-chat before she addressed a press conference today, she narrated how she was saved by the medical team's quick intervention. However, over 2,500 people who are not privileged like her lost their lives in Kampala Metropolitan in the 2018-19 financial year due to a poor emergency system, according to Kampala City Authority Emergency Medical Service report. Medical emergencies and injuries are the top most causes of mortality. The emergency system comprises surgical and medical emergencies and both are crucial for an improved system. This involves addressing issues of transportation of injuries and the ill persons to the nearest health facility where they can receive immediate medical intervention. Accidents that result into injuries dominate the major emergencies that the health sector has to deal with. This means that the country requires ambulances to meet this need. The minister says private sector dominates this field. In government, we've got 181 ambulances in total, and this is type B ambulances. While in PNFP, that is profit, private not-for-profit, there are 124 ambulances which are not specified while the private facilities have got 116 ambulances. These are not specified. For one to hire ambulance services in and around Kampala, they require more than 150,000 shillings, and from outside the city, the cost is as high as 3 million shillings. This is based on a sample survey conducted by the Ministry of Health. The cost is still high and exorbitant. That is why we are we are pushing for establishing a national ambulance system which will have a lower cost. And this will tap into the national health insurance scheme which is uh, planned. The World Health Organization recommends that emergency patients, particularly accident victims, should be evacuated within 5 to 17 minutes. Walter Mwesije, NTV.